Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It... All right, first pitch coming up. And starting this one, Anderson Espinoza. How about a scouting report on him? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way Leading to off. limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. The 1 0. And a foul ball. Hit on the ground to the right side. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's a speed threat. Jose Azokar. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Pitch is in there. No balls, two strikes. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good compliment yeah. to that fastball. Austin Nola stands in now and watches strike one. Of course, little bro Aaron, one of the top starters in baseball. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. No, no. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Ben Gamble. The right field. Ben Gamble. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Here, we go, guys. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to <laughs> shoot the ball the other way. No but that time, a little anxious. Go away. So digging in, Taylor Colway. Swings through that one. 0-1. And ball one. No, that missed. That's the ball. One ball, one strike. Gonna count one and two. Here you go, guys. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Brandon Dixon now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. But he's in there oh, easily. Just a blue hit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And that the missed, same for the, the left ball. fielder. So right here, he just huh? found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Next pitch is downstairs. Dixon stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss. Two and, one's the count. and it's two and one. Swings through that one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch. Did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. 
Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, number 39. The first baseman. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. The next offering misses, and that is ball one. There's a strike. One and two now. Got him looking. One away. Oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. Oh, but either way, that's a really nice pitch. Right-hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Oh, and one now. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And a foul ball. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield. Swings and misses. Gassed it right by him. Nothing doing here this half. Three innings complete. The Space Cowboys have the advantage. One to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning. Here's the center fielder, Jose Azokar. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Swing and a miss. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Oh, and two now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one out now. And now it's Austin Nola. And first offering is fouled off. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Ben Gamel. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. And one and two. Remember Mark Kotze is a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Swing and a miss, struck him out. So they make short work of him there. We played four. The Space Cowboys on top here, two to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Taylor Colway. Taylor Colway. Hey, nobody wins. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Well, these guys just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Got him swinging. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Dixon swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Righty delivers. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And he'll one. That's a strike. Hey, all right. Here we go now. Got him. And how about that? It's an immaculate inning.
pitch. There's a strike. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. And he'll chew. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. So now here's the DH, Corey Howell. Nope, Close ball. one, doesn't get the call. 1-0. Oh. Oh. Howell goes six feet, three inches, 24 years old, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. One out, one the 1-1. One, one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. The runner at first with one gone in the inning. That one misses, and the count is two and two. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. That's off the mark, and the count's full. Count is full. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't no, a great that location. That's the ball. But the fact that the velocity ball, change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. That uh, one in triple one. digits. One and two here. Got it by him for the K. So one hit is all. And welcome back. Here's the catcher, Austin Nola. And first offering is fouled off. Come on, fellas, let's go. The pitch. Swing and a miss. No and that Keep is strike two. Go out there, huh? Just misses with that one. Ball. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now, now at the plate, right Ben Gamble. Ben Gamble. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two outs. Taylor Colway getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. There's a strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Brandon Dixon. Foul ball there. You'll one. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Caught him looking for the K. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. And it's done again, too. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. And now the first baseman, number 39. And that's in for a strike. Now. 
Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the DH, Corey Howard. And the right hander back to work. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot oh that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. At the belt and fires. And that That's one the off the outside edge. Two one. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Azokar, the batter down as he swings and misses for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. We're live from Bayfront Park. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Shook. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And here is number nine. The line of the pitch. And it's fouled away. Oh, one down. Fouled off left side. Well, that ball was hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. And that one ripped to left, and it goes just foul. These guys like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Reaches into the stands, he got it. <laughs> So now it's the four-hole hitter, number nine. 0 for 1 so far. And here it comes. And fouled off. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Mendoza under it. And there's one away. Here's a big power threat, number nine. All right, looking for your pitch here. Let's go, let's go. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Oh, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Laser, base hit. One runs in. Now the second run is in, and it's 4-0. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Lopes drifts towards it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So here's the cleanup hitter, number nine. A chance for more damage right here. here a couple one of time. RBIs right for go. him in his last A-B. This to center field. Makes the grab. Runners tagging from second and third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. It's six nothing. So two down, number nine. Digs in now, one for three. All right, let's sit on something you like right here. 
Swing, and this one's crushed. No doubt about it. Grand slam. He'll circle the bases, and they boost their lead. It's 12-2. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here. But you, well, another night, another win. This team is a must-watch right now. Even if it goes late, there's a rain delay, extra innings. People are going to stay up late to see this streak continue. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Triple A Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Sugar Land Space Cowboys going up against the El Paso Chihuahuas. First pitch coming your way next. So two down, stepping in the long ball number threat, nine. number nine. Pulled down the line, this one hammered, but it's foul. All over the first pitch fastball right there, but just a little bit out front. Got to let it travel just a bit more. That one ripped. That's back. And that one is gone. His 43rd home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. That adds another game to his hitting streak, Chris. Yeah, he's been doing so many things well that the plate and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. With the low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So up next, number six. The first base. Mark Going two down. On the ground to the left. Throw to first is in time. And that is that. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We play two full. The Space Cowboys with the lead, one to nothing. And now the shortstop, now number nine. Number the solo nine. homer his first time. Liner, base hit. Dubon, around third. He'll score, and they lead by two. Wastes no time there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Man at first with one gone, and now the DH. Number 28 doubled his first time up. Come on, big dog. Get your pick. And a 2-1 yes, on yes. the way. Run around the goal. Yeah. Strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, he's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Over earlier, now he swipes second, showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Pulls up and that's in there for a knock. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So digging in, number 17. Here comes the 1 Double steal. Squirts away a little bit. Throw to second. Safe, and it's a double steal. So on the wild pitch, two guys advance. Let's go right here. And a 1 1. Fly ball down the line. And that's a base hit. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. That is ball four, and that'll bring home a run. 
Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, number nine. He's already homered here in this one. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He flexes his power with that swing, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-1. Now nah, he's just showing off out there, and who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat, watch it go a long way. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he... now Here's Ben Gamble. Right ben Gamble. Hey, nobody out now. Runner, runner, runner. The kick and the pitch. Yeah. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. So up next, number nine. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Out of here. That's his third home run of the game. And they add on. It's 6-1. He's putting on quite the show with the dish here in this one. And he's just so locked in with his... Now Runner on at first with one catch. gone. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brett Sullivan. On the ground. Could be two. One at second. And it's a double play to end the inning. One run. Back here at the ballpark, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now here is Matt Schrock. Hey, no and a pitch. Here. That one the other way. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. One down. Brandon Dixon now. Hey, one away, one away. Hit on the ground, might be two. The flip, they get the force out on the underhand toss. And that. All right, look at your pitch here. That's it, right now. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he was ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it and hit it hard. Had the distance. But just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment. Let it travel a little more and see if you can keep that thing fair. Azokar makes the play. Runner tagging for third. Ten to the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Top of the second. Now it's the shortstop, number nine. Let's go back to work. This one in the air, center field. Azokar makes the play, and there's one down. Almost a loud start. So the lineup flips over. Hey, Max Schrock now at the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out. On the ground to short. One up, one down. Man at second here with two away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tim Lopes singled and drove in a run his first time through. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first. And that is that. No run. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, number nine. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. Line drive, base hit. Save. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Number 28 will hit next. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Next pitch is popped up. Batten. One away here in the fifth. 
Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. He's Runner done, edges right? away at second. He's trying for third. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Throw to second, and they got him. Double. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Corey Howell. On the ground, out to short. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now he's doing a nice job. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Colway. The wind of the pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. Has some trouble with it. And the batter will be the shortstop. Number nine. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Got him. And that's the third out. So no runs here. Man at first with one gone. Corey Howell, the next to hit. 1-1 one, one now. Roll to short, could be two. The throw to second, double play. What a twin killing, Dan. one nothing the final. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John... Well, he's been playing well at the AAA level on both sides of the ball, and he's knocking on the door. He is right on the cusp of getting that call to the major leagues. I'm joined by MLB Network insider J.P. Morosi. J.P., what kind of value does he have as a two-way player ready to break through at the major league level? He is a manager's dream, Ben, because when you think about being able to get the most out of every single roster spot, and roster spots are precious in the major leagues, when you have one player who can do two different things at this level, my goodness, the manager, I am sure, is saying to the front office, I want this player on my team yesterday and so now the question will be exactly how will be used going forward uh, how many games can he play as a position player every week in addition to what he does on the mound but i can assure you the coaching staff the manager they want him here now You're out. Sometimes, dreams do come true. This player is about to get the chance that millions only dream of.
the chance to see if he's got what it takes. He's made it to the show. Jake Peavy, former Cy Young Award winner, what do you recall about putting on that Padres uniform for the first time in 2002? Well, before putting it on, Roflo, I remember walking into a big league clubhouse for the first time and seeing PV44 hanging on a locker in a way seeing Trevor Hoffman some future Hall of Famers in this room was scared was excited all at the same time asking a lot of questions but ready to prove that I belong at that level oh, Carlos. I was so grateful so excited uh, one thing that caught me by surprise is I was extremely nervous playing defense like just being out there for the first time in those big stadiums, packed 50,000 fans, playing defense, I was extremely ner nervous. Yet at the plate, I was able to find my calm. So I had to work on how to control my breathing between the lines. All that work has paid off. He's finally made it to the bigs. I have to admit I'm shocked. Okay, okay. I didn't think we'd see another photo, photo, Tani, this quickly. Here in Miami, Long Depot Park, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Houston Astros taking on the Miami Marlins. John Jambi and Chris Singleton with you. Singy, one of the stories in this one is a highly anticipated Major League debut, and all eyes will be on him as he gets the start on the mound. I love watching pitching debuts at this level because there's no waiting around to see the rookie in action. You get thrown right into the deep end of the major league pool. He's center stage from the first inning on. So like you said, Boog, there's no hiding at all. There's a ton of excitement about this kid's future, and he's about to face the best lineup of his life. So I'm excited to see how he attacks it. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go, getting the nod on the mound, Jesus Lazardo. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this. And he deals. Left field. Pena on the move. Calls it in, and there's one away. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Garrett Hampson, batting with one down, takes a strike. Hey, by the way, Chris. Yes, John. Hey, Happy down. birthday. Oh, thank you. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still... Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. And the Marlins down quietly. We played an inning. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Go? Now the third baseman, Jake Berger. The third baseman. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That's in there. Going one. Now, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people it's around the league really way. appreciate his consistency. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. Fights it off. You'll see another. No score here in the second. 
swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Yeah, that there's no good. doubt, Boog. Electric that's stuff from the good. jump. I mean, there's just no mess around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Field two. Three. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Back here in Lone Depot Park, set for the bottom of the third, and at the plate for Miami, Josh Bell. Pulls that one foul. Bell getting to start at first, 30 years old now, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. The 0-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. We'll take a look at the sequence on that three-pitch strikeout. Led it off with a couple of fastballs up in the zone, kind of challenging him to catch up. And that really opened up the bottom part of the strike zone because as a hitter, you're still thinking he might climb the ladder on you even more. Pretty much didn't stand a chance on that good changeup. One down here, fellas. Kicks and fires. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. On, now, now CJ Inahosa in there for strike one. Inahosa hitting ninth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Miami down. Bottom of the fourth. John Birdie at the plate. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. You know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The one, two. Hey. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off-speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. Next offering is in for a strike. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. His first at bat was a strikeout. Up the middle. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Berger batting for the second time, and that's strike one. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Edge of the zone for a strike. Oh, a two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much. Back here at the ballpark, now the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Swings and misses. 0-1. These guys have been very aggressive early in the Cal, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at-bats and get some base runners off. Next one misses, and the count is one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you ain't got him, one out. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. Sanchez stands in now and watches strike one. Called strike right there. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Yeah, there's the strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Swing and a miss, and he got him. 
The big right, he strikes out the side. Back here in Miami, and now Jacob Stallings. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And, and that is strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And there's one away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Next to hit, C.J. Inahosa. And that's in there for strike one. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Sit down on strikes. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. John Birdie digs in down. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. I think baseball starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need him in this game nope, today. The Next one just misses. And a count one and two. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. And one, two, three go the Marlins. Still down three nothing. And welcome back. Here's Garrett Hampson. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Pena on the move. Brings it in. And there's one down. Okay, Singy, I think we can say it's been a successful Major League debut for him on the mound. He's giving this organization and its fans some reasons to be excited about what he can do at this level. I think so too, Boog. It's always such a good feeling to see someone attack a new challenge and do well at it. And that's what we're witnessing today. It's a brand new environment, and he's finding a way to succeed. He'll be humbled sooner or later, so that's going to come. But I really like what I've seen from him in this one. I think he belongs here. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Next offering is in for a strike. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Abreu it. takes it to the bag. That's the third out. Still in. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. No left field. Pitch. Brian. That Whoa, misses the zone. Ball one. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, singing. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. And no throw. He's into first easily. Jesus Sanchez getting ready to hit. It doesn't really matter oh, where you are that. in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. And action in the bullpen as a result. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. I got it. I got it. I got it. Abreu makes the play, one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Bell in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And the right-hander deals. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to first. And now two gone. 
Jacob Stallings now. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The 0 1. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. De La Cruz at second with two down. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One left for Miami. Still back here at Lone Depot Park. Bottom of the ninth. And now CJ Inahosa. And first offering is fouled off. Here we go, boys. Right hander kicks deals. They say it went. Next offering is fouled back. The 0 2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Back to the top of the Miami order, and now John Birdie. Close, but called the ball. Ball one. I like the sequence right here. Jammed him on that last pitch, then trying to go away. You get that hitter leaning out over the plate a little bit. Now he's very vulnerable again to something inside like we saw earlier. In there safely. And now it's going to be Garrett Hampson. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. And the batter now, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. The 1-1. That one missing inside. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Is just one strike away. And down on strikes. Ball game. Five nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB the show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. No errors. They left seven men on base. From inside. Back here at the ballpark. Second inning set to go. And stepping in for the Astros. Number nine. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Alcantara, an all-star a season ago. He features a changeup, a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he can't. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. His first home were in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Luke, there's so many times when a young player might wonder if he's ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this. Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore. Next is the designated hitter, number nine. He's already homered in this game. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the catch for the out. Man, that's one of those at bat. Two outs, runner at first. Number nine will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. Ripped, but it curls foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Lined, and that's a base hit. Alvarez around second. The run scores all the way from first, and the lead is up to five. Man in scoring position with two away. And next to hit for Houston, Yaner Diaz. The 0-1. Runner, runner, runner. runner breaks for third. The other way. Base hit. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's 8-2. Comes through with the RBI. 
Now it's the DH. Number nine. He launched the solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. And first offering is fouled off. Well, that's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. One down. Base is empty. Fought off foul. <laughs> foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking. Foul ball. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Right-handed reliever. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Chisholm drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. And there's two down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, number nine. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Shagwa, in his fifth season, 32 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 10-6. Now he's just showing off out there, and who can blame him with this? Final score here today, 10-6. And the road team. Singleton and our... He's just hit his first career home run. Carlos Pena, you hit 286 home runs in your career. What do you remember about home run number one? Well, the first home run I hit went the opposite way. So that's good hitting right there, Jake. That's right. I got a pitch out over the plate. Gil Heredia threw me a fastball out there, and I crushed it. Palacata, left center field. And then that same game, I went deep again uh, versus Vizcaino for my second homer of the game. So it was a two-homer night for me. Were you able to track down the ball? No. Can you believe that? Whoever has my home run ball, my first home run ball, I'm going to give it back. Come now, how, how much tougher <laughs> is it to hit a home run at this level as opposed to other levels of professional baseball? Well, you know what? When you're between the lines and on the, in the batter's box, you know, everything becomes the same, right? You just have to see the ball hit it, get good contact. So that's the same. I'm just talking about the pressure yeah. around you makes it that much harder. And, of course, the competition is better on the mound. So the likelihood of you going placata in the big leagues is, you know, lower than in... Well, I'll speak from uh, getting in the box. Even though I was a pitcher, it was hard enough row flow to make contact. Making contact for some major league pitcher is a very tough thing to hit a homer even tougher. Yeah, three home Good runs hair. in Jake Peavy's career, including Look one out. against Brad Penny. Where? Dodger Stadium. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's a memorable That's homer. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ron, congratulations. He just picked up his first Major League win, 1985 All-Star Ron Darling had plenty of them, 136 to be exact. Just about set to go. And pitching in this game, Framber Valdez. Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. And one, two, three. Go. One gone runner at first. So next up for Houston, number nine. He's a major topic of conversation, the rare two-way player at the big league level. It's pretty early on in his major league career, but it's driving a lot of excitement around the game. Yeah, Boog, hard to not get excited about a player with this much athleticism, this much talent. Just such a rare thing in baseball. And you know, just about every front office is watching him and dreaming of having their own guy like him in the organization. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is out of here. A two-run shot, third home run of the season. It's 2-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Back here in Houston, on to the third inning. And now for Seattle, Dominic Canzone. Out to short. And he's safe at first. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to second for one. On to Jose Abreu. That's two. Runners on the corners with one gone. Here's Jared Kelnick. One for one with a single so far. On the ground. Base hit into the outfield. The run scores from third, and it's a one-run game. Big time at bat right there. Comes through. And now the center fielder, Dominic Canzone, reached on an infield single his first time. Up the middle. Tosses to first. That's out number two. Base is empty one away. Number nine up next for the Astros. And that one wrapped foul. Galt certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. Slapped foul. Oh, and two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And the righty deals. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And we're level. It's 3-3. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that for a Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. He made him pay for that one. His third home run of the game. And they take the lead. It's 5-3. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this back to the top of the Seattle order. Here's the Mariners leadoff man, Josh Rojas. The tying run at the plate. Out to short. 
Over to Abreu. That's out number three. So ready to go for the last there half of the go. inning. And now the shortstop, number nine. Shortstop. Number nine. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Astros doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. The numbers say their chase rate or swings at pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it is gone! That'll fire up the dugout. His fourth home run of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 6-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game. They're just so rare. They're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. One for three. Kicks and deals. Tapped on the ground softly to short. On the run, sends it over to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Good late bite on that slider. Got so one out with two aboard. And up next for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Eighth in the AL. Out to short. Feeds to second. Out there. That's a double play. The ball game is over. This is why they turn to him to close out games. He's so reliable in these spots, and he just proved it for the 35th time this season. Nice job getting it done out of the pen. One down. Number nine. Up next for the Astros. Four for four last night. to the left side but it is well foul the wide to kick the pitch hammers that one deep left field and forget it he circles the bases his seventh home run of the season it's 2-1 Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Runner at first with two away. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. Ripped on the ground a second. In plenty of time to first, and that'll do it. Here's a big power threat. Number nine. He's already homered in this one. Swung on. Belted. Rodriguez. Raging back towards the wall. And that one is out of here. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they grab the lead. It's 4-2. knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips it was trouble right on a platter right down the heart of the plate I'm sorry and stepping in for the Astros number nine and the way he's going in this one we've been waiting for his spot to come around again all right listen everyone stop what you're doing right now this guy's got two home runs already now he's going for number three here's a swing and a drive left field and he knew it An absolutely majestic shot. His ninth homer of the year, and they had a run. So digging in, number nine. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Drilled to center. That's way back, and you can't forget it. Home run. That fires up the home crowd, and they throw three on the board. It's 8-3. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare. They're so special and just 
so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you've got to make it happen too. And these are the types of nine wins in a row. It's such a good feeling right now with this club that no one wants to be the guy that causes the team to lose. In fact, they're looking at ways. Each guy, every day he comes to the ballpark, how can I help us? Back here in Houston, bottom of the second. Now it's the rookie DH, number nine. Number Ray nine. back to work. And first offering is fouled off. How about Robbie Ray? A guy who won the Cy Young Award in 2021 for the Blue Jays, an all-star in 2017. He grew up in Tennessee. He played on the same travel team as Mookie Betts and Tony Kemp, and he was a really good hitter. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He sends it out of here. His 11th of the year, it's 5-2. So the streak stays alive. His fourth straight game with a home. Number nine up next for the Astros. The solo homer his first time. Alvarez at second. Altuve over at first with one away. Ripped into right center. And now maybe extra bases. One runs in. Runner around third. The relay. The tag. And he's out trying for three. But they do take the number nine. Up next for the Astros. He's already homered in this game. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning. Oh, that ball finds its way to the outfield. A base hit. Kelman fires it to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. First and second, two down. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. He's already homered here in this one. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Jose Abreu up to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Two outs. Tapped up the first base side. Ford steps on the bag, inning over, and it could have been worse. To the batter now, number nine. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed. And everybody is a step or two behind the he's way going, that he's, he's squared. Going. First offering. Runner goes. Swing and a pop-up. Makes the catch. And there are two down. And your final 10-5. For Chris Singleton and our entire. We'll see you soon.